really cool bus. Mm-hmm. All right, give us a little bit of time just in case. That's fine. You can't see it that well, but Old Faithful's going off. How's that for oh. time when oh. I say walk on the side? Yeah. It's kind of weird to yeah, barely cool. see it, but to be able to hear it like this. <laughs> I've seen it more than that. Off and away, you guys excited? Mm-hmm. Say bye, old faithful. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. Well, speaking of seeing soon, we're not even going to go that far to begin with. Just outside of the old faithful area is our first stop. We're going to go to Black Sand Basin. Oh, cool. <laughs> the rule of thirds. Does anybody know what that is, or, yeah. or you do? You see, you don't even have a camera with you. You, still, you know photography. You can still take pictures. The rule of thirds is well, like I said. Hopefully, we'll go off within oh, twenty minutes. Cool. First time I brought some people back here, I had some kids on board, and they liked it because they said it looks like a volcano. Rocky, <laughs> see that? What's that guy saying? Now I will toss them to whatever geyser goes off. I, some people think of it as a spiritual thing to have the water or the mist fall on them. When you have your phone out, or especially the glass on your lens, on your camera. You want to wipe it off right away because our geysers contain something referred to as geyserite. It's a type of silica. And it welds itself to glass real quick. Oh. And I've got some geyserite spots up on my windshield. Because <laughs> somebody didn't wipe the windshield off. Right now, it looks like the steam is heading towards the road, so just keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. You excited, Penny? Mm-hmm. What's going on, buddy? It's raining guys a lot. <laughs> Is that cool? Mm-hmm. Wow. I like that little cave. Wait, what's going to happen? They split the rock off. Oh, Don't forget, this is the old faithful geyser base itself. We've got 150 named geysers. I think a lot of them, or a lot of the, a lot of other ones, and they, they keep track of them. I think the form that I, I especially like, they look much better and their, their show is much greater and you know, lasts longer than what Old Faithful does. Old Faithful is just popular because it is much more predictable. So like I said, this is Fire Hole Lake. I don't want to say any place in Yellowstone's born, but it's just kind of a black kind of place. Well, we're going to head up back out to the Grand Loop. We're going to run down to the Firehole Canyon. And that's one of the, the areas you can go swimming when you're not on my tour. <laughs> he actually has a summer coat on now, if you notice. Oh, sorry about that. I heard a shudder. If you were to stand up, you could see he's wearing kind of like a cape or a mantle. That's what the thicker fur is up front. His front legs are protected by a real thick for kind of like what's around his head. So when he walks, it, he just looks very impressive. What do you see out there, Penny? A basin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty cool. You notice, he's, he actually has a nice rich brown color, that, that grayish on him, that's just dust. They roll around in the dust to get the bugs off of him. As big as that, that bison is, number one, in a, in a prime during August, he's going to reach 1,800, 2,000 pounds in weight. He can still run 35 miles an hour for a short distance. There are a lot of times I've had younger people say, yeah, but I can run for a long distance. But you can't run 35 miles an hour. He's going to win no matter what. <laughs> but to me, the amazing thing, especially when you look at the, the build of him and you look at his kind of spindly back legs to clear an obstacle he can jump five feet in the air so they really are an impressive animal you notice he's got 
He actually has kind of ribs in it that create that hump, but that hump is also a lot of muscle. They use that muscle to swing their heads from side to side during the winter so they can try and move the snow out of the way so they can get to the grass. But when they roll in the dust this time of year, they can only roll on one side because that hump is so big. They kind of lay down and you see them, you know, kind of bolt to the side three or four times. Then they get up and then they've got to do it over because that hump is, is so massive. <laughs> We have what's called the East Gate Road that takes you out to the East Gate. We had a fire there in the early 2000s. So we've got a lot of a mix of younger trees, dead, standing dead trees, a lot of grass, and that's actually what attracts wildlife. They love those areas. Now that this area is growing up from 30 years ago, we don't see the wildlife back here as much simply because it's harder for them to get through the trees, but occasionally we see different stuff back there. Where are we, Penny? From the falls back to our little yellow bus. <laughs> what are you doing, Rock? You rocking out? Seeing anything special or? Pardon? Seeing anything special? We just saw this cool little chip. Oh, oh I see everybody <laughs> stopping so I'm yeah, thought of yeah, something yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, we were, no, that's always Oh, well. Uh, it's, a cool it's a cool chipmunk. It's a cool chipmunk. Cool chipmunk. <laughs> <Yeah. Cool chip laughs> <bug. laughs> they like to have a Well, real quick, and you can see they're getting ready on our left-hand side. Legally, you cannot swim in any of the thermals. The water down to our right. The Park Service for many years had a post of no swimming. They got tired of people breaking their ankles and and legs and everything else climbing down there. So they finally opened it up, they put stairs in. So that's one area you can actually go swim in. Uh, Technically, it's not a thermal area. It just has cool river water that is also heated by thermal activity, you know, farther up river. This is National Park Mountain. Oh yeah, something. Walking? So we're going to do that up in Minnesota when the eagles are flying. What do you see? A roof off. So close. What do you think, Rocky? Okay. It's up to Rocky and Penny. What do you think, Penny? Does it look cool? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. You have to go. You're about to find out once we head back, there's a couple times I am able to hit 45 miles, whopping 45 miles an hour. And you're gonna see I'm kind of a hairstylist at that point. Perfect time of the day with the heat coming in. Yes, it is. <laughs> Travelers, let's say. Because the Indians were coming in here for thousands of years before we ever found out how close to They all went from hotel to hotel. The, the hotels were strategic in place. Coincidentally, one day's horse back right away from the other. <laughs> the last time the, the volcano erupted here, you know, it just spews out a lot of stuff. I don't still mean the magma or, or the, the lava or anything like that. It throws a lot of garbage, you know, the rocks and everything else. And that's actually what that clip is. When it blew up, it just happened to collect a bunch of miscellaneous material right there. That's tough. Tough stuff. Tough.
out all these parking lots to fill up. We beat the crowds. And one thing I saw being up early in the morning, we beat all the crowds. Hey Penny, where are we at? Black Sand Basin. Start talking about the people, oh, yeah. buddy, and, and it's just a couple hours, a couple hours yeah, of you gotta do the so two together. So you really don't want to miss that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much out for Buddy right now. Ah! Hey, you think that up my face? Yeah. Colors? Yeah, I can see all Looks like I'll be stopping at the pull out that we stopped at earlier to look at this valley. This time you guys are the photo lot. I'll be taking your photos with your camera, your phones, whatever you have. And since you voted to have the roof back, you now have the option if you want, you can stand up on the seats. If somebody wants to, if, if you're doing this two at a time, four at a time, however it is, a couple of you can stand up on the front passenger seats. I'll wipe them off before we get back in again. <laughs> Got one? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Nice. Buddy. Thank you. Hanging with Buddy the Bison.